Hi, my name is BronzeBoy48 and this is my journey as a bronze man. As a bronze man, I must follow a strict set of rules that I have set for myself. I cannot trade other players, I cannot pick up loot from other players, this means no PKing or picking up items dropped by another player. In order to use an item, I must unlock it by first obtaining the item in game. Once an item becomes unlocked, that item can be bought and or sold in the grand exchange from that point forward. Finally, I have achieved my Barrow's Gloves. This long journey finally pays off. With the Barrow's Gloves now unlocked, I would consider myself now officially a mid-tier account. As a mid-tier account, I feel it's only necessary to gear up accordingly. So what gear does a mid-tier account wear? This is what I would consider to be an optimal mid-tier account melee setup. The Helmet Neotesnot, Arty Cloak, the Strength Amulet, the Dragon Scimitar, Dragon Defender, Rune Plate Body, Rune Plate Legs, Barrow's Gloves, Climbing Boots, I decided to opt for the Strength Amy instead of the Glory since that requires 83 Hunter or 80 Crafting, which I would consider both high level content. I decided also to not go for the Fighter Torso simply because it takes around 5 hours to get a Fighter Torso and you gain no experience while you're in Barbarian Assault, so I would much rather spend that 5 hours gaining XP than having that negligible plus 4 Strength bonus. I also decided not to put the Berserker Ring or the Fire Cape because I also consider those kind of higher level content, being that I want to be at least level 70 range before I attempt the Fire Cape, and the Berserker Ring will be obtained through Slayer from Dagonoth Slayer tasks. All that being said, let's do some gear hunting. So far we have the Arty Cloak, the Climbing Boots, and the Barrow's Gloves. Alright, so here we are in the desert. I'm about to buy the Ancient Staff, and I don't know how many people actually know this, but the Ancient Staff is actually a better melee weapon than the Rune Scimitar, surprisingly enough. It's more DPS, and obviously more DPS means more experience per hour. That being said, with the Ancient Staff bought, that means we no longer have a use for our beloved Rune Scimitar, so it's time to say goodbye, my friend. One of the easy gear upgrades that I can unlock really quick is the Strength Amulet. I need level 50 crafting to make a Ruby Amulet, but I'm going to get 47 and try to get a Spicy Stew boost. I feel like a plus 3 boost isn't too difficult. Go, go, go. Don't be too slow. And Strength Amulet unlocked. So I really want to start doing Konar Slayer. I've actually never done it in this game before. I quit for a while before Konar Slayer came out and I just recently came back to the game. So there's a lot of new things I want to try out. And I've heard Konar Slayer is pretty good for making money. But one thing I always like to do on a brand new account is I like to get to 49 tasks completed using the easiest Slayer Master and then do every 10th task with the best Slayer Master I have available. And the reason for that is on the 50th task, you get a giant boost in points. And so if I use one of the higher ranking Slayer Masters on my 50th task, and I can get to 50 within a matter of a couple hours. So you get a ton of Slayer points. And in my opinion, I think it's worth doing this. And so they just updated the clue scrolls and there's a couple new rewards that are out and I wanted to see if I can try to get lucky because I have been very lucky with my easy clue scrolls. So I wanted to see if I could get one of the new items and maybe try to make a little bit of money. And a master clue. I cannot complete that. There's no way. I'm not even going to look at it. But we're going to sit in the bank and we'll look at it a later day when we actually are possibly able to complete it. And my fifth easy clue, a wizard G hat. Good lord. I can't wait till I start doing hard clues if my clue scroll luck is going to be this good. That's 200k in the bank right there. So with the clue scroll update, they also introduced beginner clue scrolls. And since I'm already in Port Serum, I know you get one for free from Veo, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And level 40 Slayer, that means I can now kill Tarn in Tarn's Lair. So I decided to go ahead and go through with doing Tarn's Lair. Upgrading my Salve Amulet will probably come in handy later, but also you get 5,000 Slayer experience for defeating Tarn. Getting 5,000 Slayer experience in a matter of 10 minutes is very worth it. And Tarn defeated, 5,000 Slayer experience. Gets us to level 41, and there is the Salve Amulet Enchanted. So with my current defense level, both the Berserker Helmet and the Archer Helm are going to be my best in slot helmets. 
at least until I unlock my Helm of Neon Tis Not. So every 10th task, I get a task from Vanica. That way I get a boost in points. So I got my task from him and I was just 1000 experience away from 60 attack. And so I decided to uh, risk it all for the biscuit and I went to the wilderness dungeon, the Edgeville dungeon and got my attack to 60. I'm not afraid of dying in here. Everything's aggressive, so nobody can really kill me. I just need to go somewhere and get my experience real quick. But there's level 60 attack. I got myself another beginner clue. The beginner clue loot. Wow, no. What? What is my clue scroll luck? This is one of the brand new items. The monk robe tea from a beginner clue? I figured that would be from an easy clue because I think the other monk robes are from easy clues. Day one new item. And it sold for 500k. Well, um... I needed to make some money for a dragon scimitar and a dragon battle axe, but there's that taken care of. Oh, look at us. We're balling now. And there we go, finally. 49 tasks completed. I forgot to record me getting the room plate body and plate legs, but I bought the plate body from Oziog, and I bought the plate legs in Narda, so that's the room plate body unlocked, as well as the room plate legs. With my newly acquired Salve Amulet E, I decided to head to Anku's because I get a 20% boost in attack and strength, so that'll make training a lot faster. And these also drop a lot of runes, a lot of death, bloods, and law runes. Those will add up in the cash pile pretty quickly. They also have a 1 in 512 chance of dropping a hard clue scroll, which I need right now for my range gear. I highly doubt it's going to happen. 1 out of 512 is a pretty low chance, but... So there's 65 strength. I ended up getting one clue scroll, but it had a requirement that I couldn't do, unfortunately. But 65 strength, now I'm going to train my attack through Slayer. I need to get to 65 for the Warriors Guild to start getting my defenders. And there it is. 50 tasks completed. 150 Slayer points. That's incredible. Gives us a total of 230. Ooh, Hellhounds, that's so good. Like I said, I'm still hunting Clue Scrolls trying to get my Ranger gear, and they have a really high drop chance of dropping Clue Scrolls. So hopefully we can get lucky here. While we're on the topic of range gear, my best option for boots is going to be the snakeskin boots. The only boots that are better are the Ranger boots and the Pagasian boots, I believe, which are incredibly rare. So the snakeskin boots are a very easy, obtainable set of boots that give a range bonus. So we're heading and doing the type well one eye cleanup until we encounter a snake and then we can get his snake skin and make some boots. And there we have the snake skin boots unlocked. And I figured out my used short bow is actually better than the Dorgishin crossbow with rune arrows. And there we go, there's level 50 range. Probably gonna stop training range here because I don't wanna train with my U bow at 50 range. I want a magic short bow. I can obtain those through clue scrolls. I will be hunting hard clue scrolls really soon when I try to go for a fire cape run. So hopefully in the meantime, while we do that, we'll get ourselves a magic short bow also. So I got a trolls task and the best place I could think of to kill these is ice trolls. So I have to start the Fremnic Isles quest. All right, we've made it the land of the axe. Time to slaughter some ice trolls. They have some pretty decent drops. They drop a couple rune items, I believe. I know they drop rune kite shield for sure. Drop a lot of lower end, like adamant and mithril stuff. And they also drop the granite shield. Ice troll task done. Unfortunately, no rune kite or granite shield. But surprisingly, I actually ended up with almost 100k in loot. I was not thinking I would get that much. Obviously, the Rainer seed helps a lot. And I got myself a basilisk task. I've got the points to do it, so I'm going to go ahead and unlock Superior Slayer because I can get one from a Basilisk task or Superior Basilisk, so might as well do it while we have the task. So my current Slayer assignment is a Molinisk task. I've actually never killed one of these in my entire 15 year career of RuneScape, so I have no clue how to kill these or where they are. All I know is that they're in Dorgish Khan. Um, I have no clue where these things are. Oh, well, apparently they're on the walls. Of course, that's the first place I should have looked. I'm an idiot. And the medium clue scroll reward is... That's actually really good. Uh, Unholy Blessing? Plus one prayer boost, and then it's also an item for God Wars, so that's awesome, but... Two other junk addy items that'll probably end up getting out. Ah, finally, 65 attack gives us 65 attack, 65 strength, 130 combined attack and strength levels, which gives us now access to 
the Warriors Guild.